Hey guys, what I do is your boy Supreme Tree to God, and today I want to talk about Weak Hero, baby. I don't know if this is going to be a long video or not, but please subscribe, like, comment, all of that jazz. Let's grow the channel. Um, I want to talk about the war, the upcoming war that's happening between Yu Zhang and the Union. You know what I'm saying? So we got Team Donald now versus Team Big Ben Park. Obviously, Ben Park is the leader of Yu Zhang and the leader of his crew. His second in command is great. And then when, when it comes to... Donald Nah and his crew, you know, that's the Union, and his second in command is Jake. Now, we, we know that Jake and, and crew actually like Yu Zhang guys, and the Yu Zhang guys actually like Jake and the guys, but his circumstances force him to be Donald Nah's lackey, even though he'd rather throw the hands with him. Even if he loses, I think he'd rather cash a fade than be a puppet. But Donald Nah did the thing that he said he going to do. So he got to pay his due. And so that's why he's still working under Donald Nah. Now, the beautiful thing that's happening here in this whole crazy thing situation is that Yu Shanghai is finally fully teaming up, but actually also gaining new members. Um, This was actually Alex. Go no, was it Alex Gogo's idea? No, it was um Teddy's idea. He was actually like, there's somebody that can actually help us with, you know, recruiting people because they're having a discussion like, yo, who the hell should we get? to like help us because like look even if it's a one-on-one -on -one, like there's gonna be retaliation because there's no way you know and this is great speaking there's no way that if ben park loses i'm just gonna let that shit slide like i still needs to get smile for what they did to eugene like you know what i'm saying like i, I whoever did like that's still not enough like that he sent him to eugene like i'm trying to get my leg too bro like you know what i'm saying and if any of us gets hit like i'm trying to get a leg back for that too you know what i'm saying and so it's not just about a one-on-one. -on -one. And we know for a fact he's not even going to do one-on-one -on -one anyway. He's going to be cheating anyway. Cheesing anyway. And we're not about to let our school lose anyway. So screw that. We got to go ham. So Big Ben, you take on the strongest man on earth. You take him on. We'll handle everything else, bro. Hey, we, it's an all-out war. We're not just fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Nah, it's who wins the war. You know what I'm saying? If you go down, we're going to jump him. And if, you, if, we, if you go down, they're going to jump us. Like You know what I'm saying? So you know what it is. And that's fact, to be fair. If they went there and Big Ben loses, they jump the rest of them and beat their ass too. Like, just to, to, to put fear upon them and be like, fear, Donald Nye and all that jazz. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, obviously, my prediction, I think... Ben Park is probably going to lose because I think Gray is going to be the one that has to defeat him. Either that or, uh, or Big Ben is going to be winning at some point. And then he's going to get hit by somebody else. And that's going to be all it takes. Or be distracted. Or be distracted by somebody getting his ass whooped. It could be Alex Gogo. -Go. It could be somebody else. And then he looks away. And in that moment, Donald not capitalizes and drops him. And then... Excuse me. And then Gray comes in to save the day and finishes him off. So I think Gray's probably going to win. But I think it'd be a more interesting story if Gray isn't... The, you know what I mean? I know he's the protagonist. But I like a story. It's kind of like... um. Tokyo Revengers, where it's like our protagonist isn't the strongest guy, like Mi Mikey is. Mikey is the one that like does shit. Mikey is the one that's like in charge of shit. Mikey is the one that like da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I think is it could be cool, but obviously our, our protagonist in Weak Hero is not is not a, a little like a little beat like 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 the one in Tokyo Revengers. But you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like it's fine for the main protagonist to lead the story without him being the direct. You know what I'm saying? person involved in all the big deals like so far who's fought the strongest people is is big ben big ben has fought um jake and he's fought donald not nah. you know what i'm saying even though he didn't even really fight really fight donald not nah, but he was just defending his friend type uh type b but yeah that's what it is man um i'm really excited to see what happens but in this war man this war is gonna happen and it's gonna go crazy and they got philip nam on the corner and you know philip nam is well connected and he's been pissed off he's been and i mean he's been pissed off at the fact that like donald not kicked him out of the union and all of that jazz and we know he's well connected Hey, my dude's so well connected he even called wolf kim even though he's scared and terrified of wolf kim but wolf kim hey <sighs> sorry Helped him gain his reputation. I'm just out of work, man. Long day, my boy. Long day. But he helped him gain his reputation. So as a result, like, that's why that's what he finna do. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm really excited. I'm super excited to see what happens. Uh yeah, I don't think I as much as I want Ben to win, I don't think he's gonna win that fight or if he or it's gonna take a team effort to defeat Donald Nah. Maybe they defeat everybody else and Ben is struggling and they all pull up and beat the shit out of Donald Nah. I don't know. Uh but it seems like we're reaching the end game uh because i mean apart from the new union the story doesn't leave itself a lot of room to do much else you know what i'm saying so uh i think 
it's a good place to end it's not too long of a story which i like i don't like stories that drag on for the sake of dragging on i'm reading one piece right now i'm enjoying it um, but it's long <laughs> um but yeah man i'm just excited to see what happens um now i think i think gray and them and the guys are gonna be heavily excuse me heavily involved i think first the fight is gonna start just a one-on-one -on -one. but i think as soon as one or the other is losing i think one member is going to get jittery and stop fighting bro and i think that's when the all ass chaos will, will happen and and that's you know what i'm saying i think i'm just super excited to see a street brawl a big brawl like that imagine it's animated like oh my god it'd be beautiful uh but yeah that's that's what i think um this chapter was really really good i really really enjoyed it it moved things quite well because the last chapter was kind of like a let's sit down and let's contemplate and let's think and let's this this chapters like okay let's take action let's make moves let's make shapes let's make waves you know what i'm saying so i'm super excited to see this man war tom is here it's been a boy supreme cheer to god make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe are you excited for the next few chapters of weak hero i need a hero <laughs>